So if you were here for the Selwyn dinner, um, I spoke first, uh, and that was, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, so I spoke first um, when we did our testimony at the Selwyn dinner, and we were just asked to share a little bit. So uh, it turned a bit into amateur stand-up hour. Um, and then luckily, Karis came in at the end and kind of saved the day with some, some good heart stuff there. So we decided to change it up a bit this morning and actually have her share like important things first. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, and also it was hilarious because then I don't know if you heard uh, Mike and Victoria Fulton's testimony, um, but they, we went first and then they came up and she had pages of notes and she like got into this huge like heart thing and it was amazing. I just leaned over to Karis and I just said, man, I'm so glad we went first. <laughs> so anyway. Um, yeah, so I guess just to kind of add on to that, I'm Alex. Um, yeah, I grew up in Toronto. But I did repent. Uh, I lived. I said I'm sorry. I lived in the West End, and I repented. I turned fully around and came east. Um, I met Karis, and uh, and yes, we ended up moving here to Peterborough. We're our coming up on our 13th anniversary. Um, yeah, we have uh, two lovely boys, Gideon and Solomon. There's Gideon waving. He's excited, and uh, you've probably met Solomon. He's the little blonde boy who hugged you, even though you didn't know him. Um, and yeah, we've just been so blessed uh, by both of them uh, in our lives as well. Uh, yeah, so I think the only thing that I really wanted to add um, just about Selwyn is just, well, I, I grew up in a very God-filled, church-going household. Uh, it was a huge blessing in my life. Uh, I have great foundation of, of just scripture and that sort of thing. Um, but one of the things that was greatly lacking was just the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit wasn't a thing that was active. Um, you know, when the book of Acts ended, so did everything that happened in the spiritual realm on earth. Uh, it was kind of the way that I was, uh, I grew up with replacement theology, which as you can imagine has changed. Um, <clears throat> And so, uh, yeah, that was kind of where I grew up. And that was how, how I lived the first 20 something years of my life. Um, and kind of slowly, God has been so gracious, but also so gentle. Uh, very, very slowly and easily, he has just been teaching me more and more and opening my eyes. Uh, the Holy Spirit has just become a part of my life. Um, and one of the things that actually, like we started to meet some amazing people, uh, Karis mentioned Disciple of City, just other just incredible men and women of, of faith that you just admire and are just in awe of. And then they all seem to be going to Selwyn. Um, and it was just kind of one of those, well, that's interesting. Maybe, maybe we should try that place. Um, and so I've just been stretched and, you know, like the very concept of like speaking in tongues was the most foreign, ridiculous thing that I could have ever imagined, and now I do it, and healings, and just these sorts of things, like it's just, but God has been so gracious, he's just like one step at a time, he's like, this year we're going to work on healing, buddy, um, well, take it slow, and you'll be okay, and you're like, that's great, God, but somebody else will do that, um, and he just slowly works me, and he kind of one step at a time, so, and, and this church has played a huge role in that, and so I thank you, um, and yeah, we're just so great. Grateful to be here and so happy to be here, and we're really enjoying it. Thank you.